Hi, my name is Christopher Leuchel. I'm a lab specialist in flow cytometry, and I work for the University of Utah in the HSC core facilities. So most people don't know what flow cytometry is. I guess we should break apart the word flow cytometry. Flow is movement, like fluidics, flowing. Cyto is cell, metry, meter. So it's a flowing measurement of cells. In our facility, we have a fax machine. F-A-C-S. It's a $375,000 room-sized microscope that analyzes a flowing path of cells. If you have a mixed cell population and you're interested in a specific subset of cell, a specific cell type, this machine gives you the power to not only analyze but sort that population. The flow tip produces hydrodynamic flow. The purpose of hydrodynamic flow is to stretch out the sample stream into a row or column of single file cells. Now that we have a single file flowing stream of cells, we're able to break that stream up into droplets using a piezoelectric crystal pump that vibrates between 30 and 40,000 cycles per second. That means it produces 30 to 40,000 droplets per second. Ideally, each droplet should contain one or no cells. With the cells moving along in single file, we're able to focus a laser beam on that stream, as well as additional lasers. This point is called the laser intercept. When a cell passes through the laser intercept, it blocks and scatters light. Light scattered to the side is collected through a microscope objective lens and sent down an elaborate pathway of optical filters, beam splitters, and eventually the signal is sent to photomultiplier tubes. We're really just gathering light from cells in order to generate an electronic pulse that's converted into a readable data, and that data is analyzed by software. With a microscope, you view a fixed stage a still image, perhaps 10, 20 cells on that stage. With the flow cytometer, you still see the same still image, just 30 to 40,000 of them per second. With thousands of data points, you're able to plot population data. If you're going to trust math, you have to have 30 data points. Then you can be statistically valid. If you have less than 30, then, you know, your margin of error increases exponentially. You know, the, the more you've seen something happen, the more likely you are you to see it happen again. It's just more information you gather. 30 is the minimum. 30,000 per minute is even better. When the cells are returned to the party of interest, they are either further processed for DNA studies, protein studies, cellular cycle studies, anything that the researcher has in mind. This machine can do a lot of things. So yeah, you can look at cells, or you can look at the DNA in cells. There's so many applications for this instrument, it's unlimited, it's your imagination, whatever you want to do. Ask a question.